friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Zita. And on my channel, I do DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest at Oakwell Home. So let's get started on today's DIYs and see what I've created. So today, friends, I'm gonna make three smash can DIYs for you. So first I started out uh, giving these cans a uh, coat of the Fusion Ultra Grip shown here. And I guess I didn't capture it on video, but uh, you're gonna uh, paint that all over your can first and it's gonna dry translucent. And this is gonna help your paint stick better to your cans. So I've smashed down to the cans already and I'm just gonna show you how I did that. I don't have a vice grip or anything like that so I just squish it with my hands and then use a hammer and some pliers there that you see to the side and what I'm doing now just to squish it a little uh, closer together at the bottom <clears throat> and if it's a little bit open it's you can fix that when you apply your napkin so now I'm applying a <clears throat> homemade chalk paint um, that I made and if you haven't tried homemade chalk paint I'll leave that recipe in my description box so I gave them a couple of coats of homemade chalk paint all over and let that dry and now I'm just picking out some napkins here and I keep my napkins in a binder and I find they're easier to find that way I had them all in a box before and it's uh, a lot longer to find the ones you want so this is a lot easier if you haven't tried that and if you guys are interesting interested in seeing how I Put them in the binders and how I divided them up just let me know in the comments so now I'm get I'm uh, pulling part uh, the plies on my napkin and um, friends you're gonna want to make sure you get all the plies off uh, some napkins are two ply and some others are three and if you've watched my other smash can video before you'll see that I messed up I only pulled off one ply of the napkin and it was a three ply napkin because sometimes the napkins you get from the dollar store are only two ply but I bought some from Ninny Napkins and they were three ply and I forgot to pull two plies off because I was thinking they were from the dollar store so just make sure all the plies are off your napkin or else it's going to bubble up and I know from experience <laughs> so I've got all my plies off there and now I'm just uh, positioning out my um, napkin where I want it and uh, if you've watched my uh, other smash can video from last year you'll notice that I use this same napkin and I didn't realize that until after I had these smash cans done I'm like I think this is the same napkin I lose I used on one of the smash cans I did last year but I'm gonna do something different with this one so it's gonna look a little different than last year's video uh, so I'm applying my Mod Podge and then I'm using uh, some saran wrap and I'm also using a disposable shower cap that I picked up at the Dollar Tree that has a really soft plastic and I find that works really well the soft plastic because it doesn't rip your napkin so you're gonna want to go light when you're applying uh, the napkin um, you know getting it in because you'll see all those ridges of the can start to appear which looks really nice because it gives uh, the smash can some texture so and I kind of start out at one end or the center then work my way out and uh, then I'm gonna do the same thing for the back of the can and uh, I'm smoothing it all out giving it a light touch and um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fold some of that napkin up I do cut that off and uh, I think I fold a little bit uh, towards the back so I'm just using the scissors to cut it off and let's see if I fold some of this one up I think some of them I just cut straight across because I got them closed pretty good on the bottom but this one yeah it looks like I'm just kind of folding a little bit of that napkin up around the back 
So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to start with my next one. This is the napkin I chose for the second one. Isn't this beautiful? I love the color of those flowers and it also has uh, some birds on there and um, you'll see uh, that the one bird is looks like he's smelling the flower. So that's uh, the part of the napkin that I made the front. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just um, positioning out the napkin to where I want it. And then I'm going to lay my Mod Podge down. And um, this one, I'm going from one side to the other. With the other napkin, I applied the Mod Podge from uh, bottom to top. But this one I did from side to side, which I think is easier. And then uh, I left some excess napkin at the top and then just uh, applied some Mod Podge inside and folded that inside and, um, and then applied the Mod Podge on the back as well. And um, then once I have that done, um, I wanted a little bit more floral at the top on the one side because I wasn't sure what side I was going to use for the front yet. So I just pulled some of the napkin apart and I'm just ripping it here just so it looks more natural when I'm applying it. And you can't even really tell that I tore a piece of the napkin off and applied it. Like it really looks like <laughs> that it was already part of the napkin just the way it, it, it looks. So uh, this works out really well for cans. Like you can't really tell like when you rip off some pieces and apply it somewhere else. So that's the good thing about these smash cans and like with the ridges that it's, you have more room for mistakes. <laughs> and I've made mistakes on these smash cans before. Uh, so this is what these two look like. Isn't that napkin beautiful? I love it. So for the third can, I thought I'd try something different with this one. So I have some dollar store clay here um, that I've had for a while. And I double bag this to try to keep it as moist as possible. So I'm just forming it into a ball and then I'm going to um, press that out with a brayer. And... Um, I'm going to make it flat and round uh, because I have this flower that I thrifted and you'll see it coming up here. It's like a, I don't know if it's a cookie press or what it is, but you'll see coming up here and you let me, you can let me know in the comments if it's a cookie press. Um, so I'm going to put that out flat and, and like I said, I picked this up at, I think, thrift store or garage sale or something like that. I think it was like 50 cents or something like that. And um, then I'm going to press that into the clay. And it didn't really cut the clay. So I had to end up uh, getting my little clay knife and cutting around it because it, it didn't really, uh, you know, go all the way through. Uh, but it went almost way th almost all the way through. So I just took my little clay knife or spatula there and kind of went around the 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 flower and got all the excess clay off and um, I'm going to apply that to the can with some glue. And um, Actually, before I apply it to the can with glue, you're, you're going to see me use a uh, script stamp, a little small script stamp that I've uh, picked up at Amazon. I've had it for a while. I've used it on some of my other projects. And if you've watched my Valentine's Day uh, video, you will have seen me use it there on a clay uh, heart. I made like a clay 
heart dish like that you could put jewelry or something like that in so if you haven't seen that uh you can go back to the valentine's day videos and watch that so it's a little script stamp so i pressed that in but i didn't press it in hard enough i should have pressed it in a little more i should have used that brayer because when i did my little valentine's day dish the script turned out really beautiful on the on the dish like once I put the dark wax in there you could really see that script but I didn't press it hard enough here I don't think and you'll see that once I apply the um, the white paint on it and then the black wax like it I didn't press that script in hard enough then I'm kind of just giving it uh, a little press down with I think this is like a bottle cap I put in the middle just to make it give it the center of the flower there in the middle um and the heart dish that i created at valentine's day i used the same clay as well so it wasn't the clay it was me not pressing it in hard enough so i used some hot glue and then some other glue i had on hand there and i used the hot glue just to give it that quick stick you know so it didn't slide down the can so once that was dry um i think i let that dry overnight but you could probably paint it right away as well while it's still wet as long as the glue is on there it will still dry with the paint on there so i painted it white and uh now i'm back to my other two cans i'm just applying the um mob podge on top so I used Mod Podge on it and I forgot that I had Mod Podge them. And then the next day I use, I have this polyvine glue as well. It's a lot thinner than the Mod Podge. I kind of like that. So if you haven't tried the polyvine and this is the dead flat, so it doesn't have a sheen to it. So if you want, don't want your cans to have like that sheen, because sometimes Mod Podge can have a little bit of sheen. You can use a polyvine polyvine dead flat and it's a lot thinner and it goes on really nicely so first i'm putting a clear wax on the flower uh just you know that way it's easier to wipe off uh any excess black like if you apply the black first it's harder to wipe off so um the clear wax acts like an eraser so uh apply your clear wax and then your black so you see that like it didn't really show up the script as much as i wanted so i didn't really like the way it turned out so i thought i'm gonna put a napkin over it so i had this beautiful uh floral napkin here and this flower is beautiful and i've used this on uh, a couple of other projects in the past as well if you've been watching my videos for a while i think um last year um for valentine's day i um decoupaged a bottle with this flower it turned out beautiful this has like a little script on it as well so i'm just showing you there that the package said that it was three ply so I made sure to get those two extra plies out there before I applied it. So I'm going to decoupage this napkin over the flower. And this is going to give it this like a 3D kind of look, which turned out really, really nice. And uh, then it was just going to be flat on the back with the, with the flower uh, napkin. But I'm just going to use that... Um, flower that i put on the front there that's going to be the front portion it's going to have that 3d effect and um once i get the uh napkin applied with the mod podge and then the um mod podge or mod polyvine on top whichever one i put there <laughs> um once that was dry you're going to see me take a marker that i found at the uh, dollar tree and it's almost like the color of the center of that flower there and i'm just going to accentuate that color by using a marker and kind of just rubbing it in to um, uh, the middle flower and then the buds coming out there on the side 
and uh, that marker is just going to accentuate those colors a little more just to make it make the flower stand out more so right here i'm just you know putting the mod podge inside as well and um putting the um my podge on top and right here i'm just drilling my holes in the side of the can um <laughs> my drill bit came out there now getting back to the other cans i have a boot here that is falling apart and this is one of my boots so it has a fringe on it so i'm gonna make use out of this old boot get what I can from it before I throw it in the garbage. So I'm going to cut that fringe off and I'm going to put it on the first can that I did with the purple flowers. And uh, this is such, I'm so glad that I just cut that fringe off there. It's like you can make use out of like so many things that you're going to throw out, you know, like even scrap fabric and even a boot. <laughs> uh, and I do use some of the other portion of the boot, boot too. And this is almost like a faux suede boot. So worked out really nice for this. So I'm just measuring it across the can here and uh, to see how much I need. I'm just, I'm not going to put it all the way around. I'm just going to cut off enough so it just fits just around the corner of the can because you're not going to really see the back anyway so then I'm going to give that some hot glue to put that um, to attach that to the can now this boot is a navy and like I said it's like a faux suede and I'm using my glue finger here so I don't burn my fingers with the glue which I have done many times by not putting that thing on so I found those at the Dollar Tree as well friends if you're looking for some fingers for yourself to uh, apply your hot glue um, so yeah so that boot is like a navy so the fringe is like a navy so you'll see me give that some paint after just to kind of tie it in with the can and I did cut out another little portion and I was gonna put it glue that to the can stamp it with those little um, clickable stamps that I have here that I picked up at Michael's I think but I found them on Amazon as well so I'll put a link for those in my description box if you're interested in getting some of these for yourself they're awesome you just click them together and that way you know you get a straight line because <laughs> I have some others from the dollar store but I don't always supply it straight so this didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. See, you can see the word bloom, but the white ink didn't, didn't, uh, you couldn't see it on that suede, faux suede. So I decided, okay, I thought maybe I'll just stamp it on the can. But as I was going to do that, I changed my mind. I'm like, mm, I think that's really going to look messy if I just stamped it straight on the can because of those ridges. So what I did is I took a little piece of uh, gift tissue paper, white tissue paper from the Dollar Tree, and I just uh, ripped a little piece of that out. And um, instead of putting bloom, I put hello spring instead. And I use a purple ink and I got these inks at Walmart. I've had them on hand for quite a while. They have these little ink pads and they're with all kinds of different colors. And um, so there's a purple in there because there's purple on that napkin. I decided to go with a purple. So there's what it looks like on that ripped piece of tissue paper. And like I said, friends like with these cans ripping off like napkin or a little tissue paper you can't even tell like that it's not part of the napkin or the can because you can't even really see like you know that it's a ripped piece of tissue or, or napkin on there 
So let your ink dry before you put your Mod Podge or Polyvine on. And then, so I just put some on the bottom and then on the top. And that uh, goes right down there in the ridges. Doesn't that look nice? So now I have some purple um, leather cord here or suede cord. And I found this at the thrift store for like 50 cents. I'm just going to tie a bead on the outside on each side and then I'm going to put some floral in this one and um, you'll see me put the floral in, in here but um, you know I end up taking it out so I can paint that little fringe I give it like a dry brush of white first and then I thought, uh, I didn't really do it. So I had some purple acrylic paint on hand as well. So I gave it a, a dry brush of uh, the purple acrylic paint as well. Put some on the fringe and kind of all over it. And then I actually dry brushed some of the purple on the can as well like along the top of the can and along the ridges as well and then that fringe really tied in more with the napkin so here's the one with the flower that i did that's looking like a 3d over that clay flower so here's that rose colored marker that uh, I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I've had these for a while. So I'm just kind of accentuating that flower in the center where some of the darker color is. And then I'm kind of just rubbing it in here so it doesn't look like marker. It kind of, you'll see that it looks like it's, you know, part of the flower, part of the napkin. Uh, and uh, yeah, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree and there was a whole bunch of different colors of these markers. So if you're looking for something like this, check out your local dollar store. So I put some of that color on the buds as well. And uh, doesn't that look nice? See, it brings out that flower a little more. And this is a tie that I got from, I don't know, I think it was, some, you know, it's almost like those bread ties or, or you know, it was wrapped around some a candy bag or something like that. But thought it was nice and big and the color was really nice so it um, worked out nice I have a bunch of you know scrap fabric and stuff in a box and stuff like this and I so I attach that and it kind of matches the the flower so then I thought I'm gonna have these little glitter stickers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree as well and I'm gonna put some of those pink ones in the center of that flower and um, it looks so beautiful with that little bit of sparkle in the middle of the flower and let me know in the comments if you would have put the glitter stickers on there if you or if you would have just left it as is so once I had those little stickers on there then I put some floral in this one and um, then it's on to doesn't that look nice i like that little bit of sparkle it gives it that little bit of extra you know let me know in the comments what you think of this if you would have done that so i'm just putting some different flowers in there you can put whatever flowers you want in there and um and then the next cam with the um flower and the bird on there i just added um, a tie to that one and this is another scrap piece of fabric from a gift bag I believe so what I thought I'd do with that one I started putting it on there plain like this first but then I thought I'm gonna stamp the script stamp on this and it turns out so beautiful I used a green ink and that that's those little ink pads again that I uh, got from Walmart there were, like I said I think there was about six or seven inks in like a little pack so I stamped both sides of that 
little fabric and like I said this is from a gift bag so if you have gift bags that you're going to throw out and they have like some fabric on them you can take that off friends and just save it for a craft project some free stuff that you can use <laughs> So um, these projects didn't cost much. Now you can uh, also use floral foam or you can use like foam that you have left over from packages to put your flowers in or you can just put your flowers in without any foam in there. So I put some different flowers in here so you can see uh, how I dress them up. And so let me know which ones you like the best. So I hope that you enjoyed these Smash Can DIYs today. Let me know which one was your favorite and stay till the end. I made some videos of these as well so you can see them a little closer. So please give my video a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I just want to say thank you. And I really appreciate all of you being here and watching my video and giving me a comment and a like. I thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video for some more awesome projects. Bye.